All right, well, that's uh, the vitamin D uh, story today, but we want to like take one of those secretaries, one of those awful secretaries at a GP surgery. Yeah. Next, please, that's enough. Yes, You've had enough time people, with the doctor. There's a lot of people yes. waiting to talk to the doctors, right. and people have, someone has to take control of these situations, Eamon, in okay. surgery time. Lisa, Ms. are Langsford. you there, Lisa? You know my husband. Are you there, Lisa? Hi, yes. Yeah. Hello, Lisa. Um, now, you've got a problem with hair growth, I understand. What's happening? I do. Yeah, um, I've suffered from polycystic ovaries for around 10 years now. Um, and the most upsetting thing I have from it is the excessive hair growth. Um, it's not just excessive hair growth in one place, it's everywhere. Um, and I've never had any help with it, really. And when you say everywhere, so what, face, legs, arms? Um, legs, arms, back. Front, buttocks, everywhere. Actually, I'm quite lucky that I don't have it on my face. Uh, and and it's, it's coarse yeah. hair, is it, Lisa? Yeah, really coarse. Black hair. Okay, this is one for for Dr. Sarah. Right, yeah. So um, the reason that we get excess hair growth in polycystic ovaries is because we're producing excess androgen, which is the male hormone. So one of the main treatments is um, the contraceptive pill, but I know you've been tried on that a couple of times and it's not been successful. Generally, yeah. we suggest trying it for around six months, but if that doesn't work, there are other things you can try. There are creams that you can use. There's one called aflorothin that generally we use on smaller areas like the face because obviously it can be difficult to put it everywhere, but it does slow down the rate of hair growth, which is, is good. It means you don't have to shave every day. Um, but there are also some tablets that you can try. So there's something called spironolactone, one called finasteride, and they work by blocking the um, excess androgen, the excess male hormone. So it's worth having a chat to your GP about those medications. And failing that, you can also try laser, which I know on the N with, you know, privately paid for can be very expensive, but in some cases on the NHS they can actually prescribe laser treatment as well. Okay. Good luck, Good Lisa. Luck, Lisa. Thank you. I hope that helps you. Um, um,